everybody, it's Crystal Metrica here from TDW Woodworks. And uh, I'm in the shop today because I've got four items that I would like to uh, mount on the wall for quick and easy access. Now most of the time I like to put things in storage containers, boxes, shoe boxes. But I kind of run out of space and I do have quite a lot of wall space that I haven't really quite utilized yet. So these are four items that I figure I would show you. I haven't come up with any ideas of what I'm going to do or how I'm going to do it. But I thought we would uh, show you the process and ideas that I came up with with mounting them. Well, let me show you the four items. Now here are the four items that I want to mount. I've got some of these tubed acrylic paints. And I was thinking of some way of either hanging them um, like I did with the other ones. I got this little benzomatic butane tool that I'm going to look to either put it on a shelf or hang it somehow. I use these uh, popsicle sticks quite a bit for either spreading glue or for mixing paint. And I just got myself a new stud finder there that seems to be real popular. I figured there's going to be a way that I could probably mount that on the wall so that I have access to it. But anyways, let me uh, show you what I do um, and come up with uh, some solutions on how to hang these. You know, I was lucky enough to find quite a bit of this pallet wood. Um, so I figured I would kick into that stock. I think we'll start with this right here. Okay, so I've got these tubes and I figured setting them on there is going to be pretty wonky there. So I figured if I put a hole through there, they seem to be wider at the top. So I went and took my circle jig here and I feel that that seems about right and they'll hang just like this. So let me just set these up, drill out some holes and I can hang that right on the wall. And I'll use these to sort of space things out a little bit here. So project one came out pretty good. Let's put the, the paints in there. Well, not too bad for project one. I think that was a nice simple solution without over engineering anything. Just on a board and mounted on the wall. All right, now project two. Well, the next is going to be this uh, little butane torch. I'm thinking it makes sense to hang it, but it needs to have at least the clearance to clear the wall. So. I'm going to use that as the length I'll need to make the hook. Get a pair of calipers. Project two is done. I'll go ahead and hang that right up on the wall there. And I just happen to have a little shelf here that I can put my spare fuel. So two projects done. All right, so project three, I'm actually rethinking. Why would I want to mount these onto one place that I have to keep going to in order to grab one? So I was thinking of making a box until I remembered about a month ago, I made a couple containers for my gel pens. And uh, I came up with this, which actually is a hexagon that will sit flat but also at an angle. So I think this is the perfect thing. Why mess with something I've already made? Why overthink it? I can literally put these craft sticks in there. They fit almost perfectly right in the bags. Can't beat that. But why overthink it? Because I don't want to have these mounted to the wall. So there we go. Project 3 is now done. Alright, so what I did here is basically uh, trace the outline of the uh, stud finder and drilled the pilot hole and brought it over to the scroll saw. It's perfect because it will you know, follow the details pretty well. 
and uh, don't worry, worry have about sanding afterwards, and it actually worked out perfectly. And then, once I uh, went ahead and glued it down, I like to use CA glue as well as wood glue, and just laid it down on a board. Didn't have to worry about cutting it to size at this point, and then used a sack of rocks to weigh it down. After you know 20 minutes or so, I came back and attached a little bracket so it wouldn't fall out. And once that was all done, then I took it over to the bandsaw and I went ahead and I uh, cut the um, the backer board so that uh, it would fit the size. Less measuring, the better. I go ahead and mount it up to the wall, and uh, it's up pretty cool. All right, there we got it. Four quick little projects to uh, organize the shop on some new tools that I got. And uh, one was sort of a cheat, but hey, if it gets the job done. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks, and uh, check you on the flip side. See you next week.